y'all welcome back to another video today's friday for me and um it is fall break for jackson still so we got to sleep in it was wonderful and beautiful and i love sleeping in <laughs> when i can sleep past seven it's a good day but anyway um i am at my mom's i'm gonna pick her up and her little dog sunny and we're gonna take her to the vet this morning and then we're going to run to a few stores do some shopping for her and then i'm gonna bring her home and then i'm gonna go do my big grocery shopping that i have to do because tomorrow we're gonna be out of town and so i just for a day and so i wanted to get it done today so i don't have to do it like sunday you know after we get back so i will have a grocery haul later in this video but right now i need to get mom and sunny in the car sunny can you say hi Nope, she's too busy. There's mom. Hey. <laughs> mom loves her puzzles. We're at the Dollar Tree. Gotta, gotta stock up. It's her favorite hobby, puzzling. And these $1.25 puzzles are her favorite. All right, stop number two. Gotta go to Goodwill. We gotta find a ramp. I don't have any ramps. Did not get much footage. It is. 3 30 almost in the afternoon but we got all mom's errands run and we got some lunch and now i am i just dropped her off and i gotta turn the air conditioner on because it is hot but i'm gonna go to walmart now do my shopping and then i'm probably gonna just grab something for dinner i can't imagine i'm gonna want to make dinner after you know all of this so i'm gonna go to walmart i'm gonna brave it it's probably gonna be a couple hours so Okay, I'm home from an epic trip to Walmart, but it was kind of nice to go on a Friday. There was like not that many people there. Saturday is a whole different story. Although I think maybe they're probably gonna stock some stuff tonight because they were out of a lot of stuff and they probably stock it overnight Friday and get ready for Saturday because they were missing quite a few things, especially the produce was very lacking. And I really thought, I just wanna go to Kroger and get my produce, but I did not wanna have to stop again tonight so i will go back to kroger they i needed like green leaf lettuce they didn't have any they didn't have hardly any lettuce they didn't have any grapes um i don't know i need to i need to look at my list and go back to kroger because kroger's produce always looks better what time is it? i don't even know what time it is because we lost power this morning and all my clocks are flashing so i would say it's probably at least six o'clock in the evening so I gotta put all the groceries away and then i'm gonna make dinner but i'll show you what i ended up buying to make for dinner it's gonna be simple because i'm not wanting to do a big you know drawn out dinner um i'm gonna show you what i got and then i'm just gonna put it away i'm probably not gonna film that today but it's kind of the same things i always buy so so i'm gonna start down here and then i will work my way around the kitchen like i always do i got some water bottles and paper towels like usual i got i had actually was gonna buy cinnamon toast crunch and then i saw that and i put it back and i got that because it's like two dollars cheaper I got Jackson his Gatorade for school and just a couple, a small thing of the mini cherry Cokes, his favorite. And I saw someone on YouTube used these zero sugar Sprites and then they added these little drink mixes. I'll show you the ones that I got. And I don't know if they said it was good or not, but it sounded so good. So I'm going to try it and I'll let you know if I, what I think about it. I wanted to get the small bottles, but they were literally $2 more than the big bottles. <laughs> so I just thought I'd rather save $2 and just get the big ones this is more than i want to drink at once but hopefully it's good and then a few non-food items over here i needed more parchment paper and vinegar these are not the fish oil i normally get but i stood there for like five minutes trying to find one i like to get the minis and this was the only brand that had that so marion and i both take those i needed some more sandwich bags toilet bowl cleaner I got this from Marion for his man cave downstairs because he does woodworking. There's a lot of dust and he tries to keep it, like trap it where he's working, but it travels over to his room. So I keep saying, I need to get you a duster and I think I can throw this in the wash. Yeah. So it's just like a reusable duster for him. I needed another shower liner and then I needed a lot of these for Madison's basement apartment. I went around and took pictures of all the ones I needed to replace and then went to Walmart. I was shocked that these used to be so cheap. These big ones were $2. I could not believe. I spent almost $7 just getting those. That was kind of crazy. I got all the babies. They I've been gone all day long and they haven't been <laughs> they haven't been going in and out like usual. So 
They, this is already the second time since I got home that the dogs have gone out. I've had to feed everybody and let you out several times. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. When mama's gone, things just don't get done the way they do when mama's here. In Marion's defense, he's been working all day in Jackson. He's just been chilling because it's fall break and you know, so, but I've had a very hectic day. All right, um, like I said, some of the produce, I'm gonna have to go to Kroger, but that's pretty much what I do usually anyway. So I got some potatoes, some half and half, and of course they're barking when I wanna do this. Hey, hey, I got the cat carrier from Madison and the dog carrier I used today from my mom's dog. I gotta clean both of these. Okay, we're not gonna bark. I'm trying to do a grocery haul. We're not gonna bark. And then back to the grocery haul. I got, a, I'll go through my meal plan as I'm telling you what I got. I got half and half, cause I'm gonna make that shepherd's pie soup again. I'm just not gonna put the Italian seasoning in it. I'm gonna see if I like it better. Cause it was so good other than that seasoning. And I really wanna try it again. So I got potatoes for that and um, half, half and half. I'm also gonna do meatloaf and baked potatoes one night. I got some milk, two of these. I actually had three, but one of them popped in the cart before I got up to pay. I'm gonna do cheeseburger croissants. If you watched my very first um, vlog that I ever posted on YouTube, I made those and they're so good. So I'll probably share that in a vlog because I'm vlogging most days <laughs> these days. Um, bell pepper and onion, can't remember why. Tomatoes, some, they didn't have my spinach. So that was another thing I need to get at Kroger. But this is spring mix. We're gonna have like a dinner salad one night. It's like a big salad. And then I wanna have enough to have a couple salads other nights too. And then I got some green onions, some carrots, cucumber and bananas, tomatoes. They, the Roma tomatoes looked awful. So I just got these. And then some more apples because Jackson wants to make more caramel apples, but he likes apples anyways. Um, I got this, it was like a dollar seventy something. It's blueberries, bananas, blackberries, peaches, and spinach. And you just mix it with water or milk in your blender. It makes a smoothie. So I'm gonna see. There was several different ones. This one looked like one that would be really good. So I'm gonna try it and if I like it. I think I've tried them before, but I don't remember, and I don't think I tried that one. I got some veggie tots. They were out of like actual potatoes, fried uh, frozen potatoes. They were like out of everything. But this is what I wanted. So I'm, we're going to have some chicken, like chicken patties on bun a couple nights. And I got these to go with it. And then I got some of these fine green beans and some frozen sweet peas. I do love the canned peas, but I like cold peas to put on salad. So I got that for that. And that is all the produce. I got a lot of cheese this time. I'm going to be making like sourdough grilled cheese with like sourdough and ham and tomato. And you use white, sharp white cheddar. It's so good. That's the best grilled cheese. Ham, tomato, and sharp white cheddar on sourdough. And then I got Colby Monterey Jack. That is for my um, soup that I'm going to make. Then I got three things of medium cheddar. Can't remember what those are for. Bacon. Jackson's really into these like bacon turkey club sandwiches. He gets at McAllister's. So we've been making them at home. So I got a big thing of bacon to fry up. And then two of these. These are $10 each. But, you know, teenagers. So two big turkey breasts, and I got three of my favorite chicken cutlets just to stock up in the freezer, and the same with the ground beef. This makes eight meals, I think. I make eight out of this. I forget. It's four and a half pounds. Oh, no, I don't make eight. I make six meals, I think. Anyway, I'll cut it up and freeze it so we're stocked with the meat for a while, and those are my favorite meats. If you've been watching my grocery hauls, you know chicken and ground beef. <laughs> I used to get ground, tur ground chicken a whole lot, and I sort of stopped for a while, um, I don't know why. I really don't, but I, I forget about it sometimes, but I just have been doing that lately. I got some egg noodles. I do have some of this to put in my stock, and this is one of the things I'm going to put in there, and another thing of rice, and then I, we are going to have spaghetti one night, but then I just got an extra box as well. I'm going to try these sugar-free vanilla cookies. We'll see if they're, if they're good. Got some butter, some of this sauce. I got this for my stockpile just to have because these are so good. I don't like Italian seasoning, you know, like the, that, but this is so good. I don't know the difference, but this is so good. Um, they didn't have Jackson's fruit punch, so I got strawberry watermelon, and then they had the crystal light fruit punch, which is more expensive, but 
caught him those. And this was what I saw on YouTube. Um, someone added this to, I think it was Kelly. From Kelly's Corner, she added cherry limeade to a sugar-free Sprite. And this is a zero sugar too, so we'll see if it's good. You know, I love strawberry limeades from Sonic. They're my favorite. So hopefully that's good. I mean, we'll see if it's better than like an ice drink. Because they have cherry limeade ice drinks. Got a thing of Pringles. They didn't have the kind I wanted, but I got that. This, they got me. It was on the end of an aisle, and I, it just called my name. I've been loving, like, oatmeal in the morning with some fruit, with some toast. And this is pumpkin spice and cinnamon and spice. So yummy. I got these oatmeal cream pies. I never buy Little Debbie's, but I'm going to do a recipe, so I'll share it with you. Got some of these because I want to make some of the peanut butter honey... Toasted O squares. I want to try to be really good with my snacking. You know, have things that I can eat that are not terrible. Okay, I got these because I wanted to find more caramel apple dip. like to make caramel apples, but they didn't have any at Walmart. So I just grabbed this, and I think Jackson will actually really like it. I love this stuff, and he really discovered that he likes caramel apples, so I think he'll like it. Also, I got him some diced peaches some chili seasoning because I am going to be making chili obviously and then we got these last time they're only a dollar and Marion loved the I think it was the hickory smoked he said it was delicious and he just put on some crackers for lunch so got some more of those I got two tomato sauce for chili and some petite diced tomatoes I always add those a chili seasoning meat and then two cans of beans and these are my favorite ones to put in there the tricolor beans kidney pinto and black beans so I got two of those and then I got an extra can for my stockpile and I think I'm just going to throw in a can of corn because it's good. And I got some apple pie filling and a jar of marinara. This I also got from my stockpile, the white cheddar and black pepper mac and cheese. Marion's funny about mac and cheese, but I think he'll like that. And then I got his coffee and some of these honey tenders. Jackson loves these. And these are the chicken patties I got. And Mar Jackson and I will have these, but Marion, I got these for Marion lemon pepper tilapia fillets so he can have that on a bun and we'll have the chicken because he prefers fish and then his taquitos they didn't have beef so I just got chicken and then this I got for tonight just a quick I need to throw it in the oven just some vegetable egg rolls and some crispy honey chicken and I'll put some rice in the rice cooker and that'll be a quick dinner for us tonight and then this is the last of it I got some dog food I did have to open one up already but they love these Beneful. I'll just give them a scoop every day or a couple times a day. Lots and lots of cat food. I always buy the pate now. That's what they prefer. But my cat Claire, you know, she eats literally like constantly. So got to have lots of those. I got these. These are what Jackson likes, the club sandwiches on the ciabatta. So I'm going to freeze one, keep one in the refrigerator. I got these for our chicken sandwiches. Corn chips for our chili. Big old bag of barbecue chips and... Some Hawaiian bagels. These are so delicious. And I just bought this brown sugar cinnamon. I've been wanting to get it for a while. And this with some oatmeal in the mornings and some butter on it. So good. So time to put all this away. Like I said, I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to get it put away and then I'm going to start on dinner. All right, food is put away. I'm definitely starting to feel like I'm getting a little bit more of a stockpile. It's not a lot, but it definitely feels like Buying a little bit here and there, it starts to pay off, you know, start to, and look what I found. One of you told me to check Kroger. Did I already tell you this? <laughs> I don't know. One of you told me to check Kroger and I found them. So I'm going to go back to Kroger, like I said, and look at their produce. And I'm going to grab some more of those because they're on sale for $2.50, which is what they normally are at Walmart. But at Kroger, they're $4. And then we have just like a bunch of snacks up here still. So I didn't buy like snacky foods. I probably should have got more cereal, but um, yeah. It just is nice to start to see, you know, my stockpile coming together. And there's the freezer. I still have to put the meat in, so I'm going to have to squeeze it in somewhere. And the refrigerator. The refrigerator. All right. I've never had these Wortman sugar-free vanilla. I mean, I've obviously had vanilla these cookies before, but... These are so delicious. You do not feel like you're missing the sugar at all. They are so delicious, just like regular. And even Jackson came in. He was like, are those wafers? I said, yeah, they're sugar-free. And he didn't want to try them. But he did, and he loved it. So definitely highly recommend these sugar-free cookies. So I got my oven preheated to 400. I am going to put this in. 
and some of these and then I'm going to put some rice in the rice cooker. I was so starving. I had to have some of those cookies, but um, I don't think we've ever had these before, but they look delicious. waiting on dinner it's gonna be ready in three minutes Marion went to the chiropractor and then he went to work out so I'll be home just in time to eat but if you've been watching vlogtober you know I was telling you about my cat Claire and I just thought I'd give you a little update she's looking so good we still go to the doctor Monday but I was gonna try and show you her face but she got up she's so sassy but she's definitely back to her sassy little self to my sweet Clyde he never has attitude See, I'm just sweet and perfect all the time. So perfect. That's funny. Clyde is almost 12 pounds and Claire is 6 pounds. <laughs> See, I'm a big, big boy. Yeah. He is the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest cat. Aren't you? And so handsome. Yeah, you're so handsome. Here is my dinner. I just mixed it up and I tasted it. And it definitely tastes like honey. A lot of honey. Um, didn't, I didn't expect that. I like sweet and sour better, but that's pretty good. And there was some egg rolls. And Jackson and I, we tried to wait for Marion. Can't wait for Marion. <laughs> yeah, I think he's soon. He's coming on. He had to help his brother fix something at his house. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and eat. Try to find something good on TV. I never, ever watch TV, but I pay for cable. So I might as well try and find something on TV. Beggars right here watching every bite I take. <laughs> All right, so those egg rolls, what are they, Taipei? Taipei. Taipei? Definitely not my favorite. Uh, Kroger has these like spring roll, ve whoa, vegetable spring rolls. They are the best, and I wish I'd have bought those because those were like six bucks, six something at Walmart, almost like seven. Um, but I wanted to t tell y'all, in a recent video, I don't want you to think I was lying to you because I was talking about graham crackers and... I was telling you that one cracker, like one whole cracker, is one gram of sugar. I was wrong. I read it wrong. It's actually, I think it's actually four grams of sugar. So like two of these whole pieces is eight. Yeah, I was thinking they were one and I was so excited. But four grams is still not that much, but definitely like I try to keep my my desserts under like two grams of sugar so i just wanted to let y'all know that like in case you saw that and you were like she's totally lying <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't lying i was i was confused i was wrong so i still love graham crackers and i still think they're a pretty good snack option when you're really wanting something sweet but yeah they're not just one gram of sugar which is a bummer i wish they were but i'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen up just gotta get it done you know like a clean kitchen at night and we're going to be going tomorrow, so I want to be able to come home to a clean house.
kitchen feels so good. Definitely worth the 10, 15 minutes it took to get it cleaned up. But I'm going to say good night now. It's eight o'clock. It's been a long, long, long day for me. And tomorrow's gonna be an even longer day because we're gonna be walking the whole day. We're going to King's Dominion and I'll be vlogging. So I'm really tired. <laughs> Make sure that you uh, come back tomorrow and watch our trip. It's gonna be fun. It's a, a Halloween haunt like they do at all the theme parks, but we don't like, we don't stay for that. We leave by like seven. That's when all the, you know, creatures and all the scary people, all the actors come out and start scaring you and they open up all the like haunted mazes and all. We don't do any of that. We just go for the roller coasters and stuff. And it is fun. And during the day they have like this great pumpkin sort of, it's for like the kids. So we are just gonna stay for that and leave by seven before all the other, you know, horror stuff comes out. Cause we don't celebrate any of that. We're not about that. So we're gonna leave, but we'll still be there from like 12 to seven. They open at 12, so we gotta leave to get there, you know, from when they open. It'll be fun. We haven't been in a few weeks and I don't know if we're going to get to go again in the fall. We might get to go one more time, but I don't know. We might have to wait until winter when they do Winterfest, which is our favorite. Well, second favorite. We love the summer the best, but uh, Winterfest is so fun. So anyway, enough talking. Thank you for hanging out with me another day of October. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. You know, I love you. Make sure to give this a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.